Bonsoir à tout le monde. Um, I remember when I was a kid with my parents, we used to go to uh, the south of France on the Mediterranean coast for holidays. And uh, I was always escaping. I was not staying with my brother and sister uh, playing on the beach. I was uh, escaping to a place which is a station, a marine uh, uh, research station from Ifremer. It is the French uh, Marine Institute for Research on Seas. And I was going there and speaking with the people uh, to know what they were doing. And uh, I was very interested by, by all about marine ocean. And these people, they were really the first one to try to produce uh, marine fish and marine shrimps. There is very, very few people who know that uh, only 30 years ago, we just uh, didn't know how to produce marine fish and, 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 uh, and shrimp. So this was uh, uh, something very important for, for the, the end of the last century. So then uh, after the university, I uh, joined the first uh, hatchery built in France. It was people uh, from that uh, station who left the station, that uh, scientist, and they start the first marine hatchery. And there we start to produce uh, sea bass, sea bream. At this time when we were producing 1,000 sea bass, it was a wow. Uh, we were very crazy, ah, 1,000 uh, sea bass, sea bream. And uh, now if you don't, if you don't produce uh, something like 100 million sea bass fingerlings in the hatchery, it's, uh, it's nothing. And you know to produce that sea bass and, 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 and this sea bream, most of the fish now that we are eating are, are coming from marine aquaculture. And for to produce that fish, it's, it's uh, still very difficult. We have to reproduce all the chain from the ocean, which means that first of all, we have to, 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 to produce what we call live prey. Because these animals, these fish, if they don't see something moving on the first stage, they just don't hit and it doesn't work. So they need to see something moving. So we produce that very small organism. And to produce that small organism, we have to produce microalgae, because we, the, that live prey eat microalgae, and, 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 uh, and then we take that live prey to feed the fish. So when I was in that farm, that marine farm, I start to touch in the years 18, I start to touch for the first time uh, microalgae. So my, my microalgae, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's really crazy. It, really, that, that organisms are, are very, very crazy. I, I am going to try to, to, to talk about, to you about that uh, organism. First, they appear about uh, 4 million years ago, uh, billion years ago, sorry. At this time, it's really the beginning of the life on the Earth. We are just at the beginning. There is, at this time, no oxygen on the planet they are going to make the oxygen. And uh, at this time, there is no animal, no vegetable. The vegetable comes much later, like the animal. The separation comes much later. It is a, a microalgae who go out from the sea and make all the plants. So this organism is one single cell. And uh, uh, it is half animal, half vegetable. Yes, it's like that. You, f you can find. Uh, cholesterol, like we have, but you can find also phytosterol from the plants. This, this organism is the first step of the evolution, and the evolution is going to be built on that step by step up to us. You know, can you, can you imagine that in your brain, all of us, we have 15% of our brain, uh, which is made of two molecules, which come from the microalgae. In the planet, there is no one animal, no one plant, which is able to produce that molecules, DHA and EPA. These two molecules, we get that through the fish, mainly, and it comes from the microalgae. And what does the microalgae with that? So this single cell has a small spot, what we call a red spot. And it is made of pigment, and uh, it is uh, this uh, spot can uh, feel, uh, is sensible to the light. 
So when there is light, this, sense, this spot feels the, uh, feel the light and send an information through a filament of DHA to the Q, because the microalgae, is, is, they have Q, and uh, send an information which is uh, go to the light, move to the light. It's really an information. This is the beginning of our brain, and, and this is the beginning of the, of the ice system. And this molecule now, we have, that, uh, we, we have them on, on our brain, outside the, the, the neuron, uh, and it makes the information to go very fast. <coughs> we start now to suppose that, in fact, uh, something like three million years ago, the monkeys, they, they learn how to, how to catch fish, and uh, they stop nearby the ocean. And at this time, they start to have a lot of that molecules by eating fish. And it is at this time that the brain of the, of the, the monkey increased about 15%. And we start to see the civilization appear, uh, appearing. So you imagine that 15% of your brain come from the microalgae. We are just a, a, a kind of big group of microalgae. <laughs> our cells, our, yeah, yeah, our cells are, are really like, like the microalgae. So, you know, my business now is to produce in an industrial scale that microalgae. Now we are entering in the world of industrial production of microalgae. It's, it's a revolution. You, you are going to, fa to, to, to have that microalgae everywhere around you, inside your telephone as a bioplastic, uh, for in your skin like a cosmetic, or inside you, you to, 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 to treat you as, as, a, as a pharmaceutical product or for, for uh, uh, green chemical. You know, oil is microalgae. Oil is microalgae. So now we are going to produce that microalgae to make all the, 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 the petrochemical industry, green chemical, and of course, energy. Inside my company, we run car with microalgae oil. But you know, that's not all at all with that microalgae. You know, as I told you, they made the atmosphere now that we breathe. They made the oxygen. But also they catch the CO2. We, are, we talk about global warming, and it's, you know, global warming. My God, what are we doing with that uh, CO2? Huh? So we said, of course, we have the length of the planet, the, the, the forest. Uh, but, you know, the forest is just a cycle. 80 years, 100 years, they catch some CO2. It's very important, of course, but that's when the, the tree die, that CO2 go back to the, to the, to the uh, global system. But with the microalgae, that's different. <coughs> they are able to catch the CO2, to bring back oxygen, and to make stone with that CO2. They make a mineral. So at this time, they just take out the CO2 from the, our, our, our system. We talk about put the CO2 inside the mining, or we try to find solution. They make the job. They just make the job. Since the beginning of the, of the planet where they made the atmosphere, they make the job. They take now about 30%, 40% of, of the CO2 that we, we produce. So thinking about that and, and uh, uh, being conscious about the problem of global warming, we thought, what? What can we do with, with, with that microalgae? Can, 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 can we try to do something? And uh, we thought, you know, we need light. You see, there is light here, everywhere. But to, to, to see now. But in the same time, we, we lose that light. And the microalgae, they need light to live. They need CO2. And also, they, they, they can produce oxygen. So the idea was, OK, maybe we can do something. If, let's share the light. If we can share the light with the microalgae, in that time, we, maybe we can, we can, we can uh, use the mic microalgae to help us. So that was, was the idea of, of the street, street lamp. You know, the idea is to share the light with the microalgae. Now, when I am speaking, they just take our CO2 and they bring back oxygen. And in the same time, you know, the light which goes through that uh, lamp is very, uh, very special, in fact. It's a very soft light. 
because it goes through uh, a live animal. So we, th we thought that maybe we can, we can develop that and put that everywhere in, uh, in uh, many different buildings, in the street to catch our CO2, but also in buildings like this one. Why not to have light coming uh, from uh, that system? It will just catch our CO2, give back oxygen, and, and will make a mineralization of that CO2. And uh, we can think also to, to put such system in place where the, the, you know, take, for example, you take uh, underground parkings. In underground parkings, that's, that's the, the worst, you know, the cars, it's, it's very dark, the, the, the quality of the air is very bad. If you use such uh, microalgae, they will just catch the CO2, but also they will give back oxygen. But also they can catch the, the, what we call the NOx, all the, 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 the gas when you burn the, the, the hydrocarbons. You know, we come from the microalgae f 4 billion years ago. And uh, maybe here we have some solution to start to reduce the CO2. And uh, the idea is to maybe not to use nature uh, just to be uh, for us uh, like a slave to do whatever what we want to do with nature, but to try to find solution like this one, sharing the light and uh, find solution where we can produce CO2 and then at the same time reduce that CO2. Thank you very much.